What's up guys, Sonic Death 24 here, and this is going to be a quick tutorial for RPG Maker 2003, how to add a moving background during the battles in RPG Maker 2003. I got this request a few days ago, and I was kind of brain dead on how I did it because it's been a while, but then I kind of retraced my steps for RPG Maker and dig through my old files, and then I kind of picked up on how I, did, how I remember how I did it. So I figured I'd throw out the tutorial real quick so I can answer that question, and if anybody else there was wondering. So... So in order to get started, uh, we're going to need a couple of things. Now you're going to need to get your picture that you want to use for your background that you want to use. And you're going to possibly need paint.net and obviously RPG Maker 2003. Now first we're going to go over the picture that you want to use for your moving background in RPG Maker 2003. So what we're going to do is, nope, what we're going to do is we're going to go to properties real quick. Right click your picture, go to properties. And first it's going to obviously have to be a PNG file. And then second it has to be at least three, it has to be 320 by 240 big, that exact same size. And it has to be 8 bit. So remember that dimension is 320 by 240 and PNG. Now for the 8 bit problem, I'm not sure if it, your picture will most likely be 8 bit, but if it isn't, and it most likely will not work because most pictures are not 8-bit these days. What you're going to do is you're going to use the program paint.net. So I'm just going to make an example by dragging this picture. It's already right so the right bit depth, but I'm just going to make an example. So we're just going to open this, say this is your picture. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and go to Save As. And pause and just a quick um, note real quick. Chances are your picture is not going to be at a dimension 2, so you might want to use this program to resize it by 320, 2, 320 by 240 real quick. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to File and Save As, and I'm just going to type in an extra character file name, blah, 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 and PNG file, save, and what we're going to do is click on 8-bit, nothing else but 8-bit, so just make sure it's on 8-bit and say OK, and then it should save, and there's your new file. Now I already have a correct file, so I'm just going to throw the new one I made away, and that's about it. So after that's done, we're going to open RPG Maker 2003. Alright, so right now i got a blank project up because I didn't really get much nothing left to really go on, but I kind of remember what I do, so I'm just going to show you real quick. So I'm going to make a new map real quick, just to get started. So this is a blank map, and what we're going to do is, we're going to ignore that for a minute, let's go to the resource manager. And what we're going to do is, we're going to click on the frame folder, go to import, I'm going to delete that real quick, ignore that. We're going to go to frame folder, import and look for the picture that you want to use and say OK. And it should highlight and let's see, maybe I'll... OK, so that's your, move, that's your background that you're going to use and say OK. So it's done and imported. So next we're going to go to the uh, database. And next we're going to go to the terrain. Now the thing is, is that I don't have, uh, well, oh sorry. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here to erase size and we're going to increase by one. And I'm just going to type this as moving floor or dark room. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. So I'm going to keep that dark room. And what we're going to do is that we're going to click on this button that says frame right here. Go to set. And since the person asked me how to make a horizontal moving floor, this is, this is technically a sprite. Um, a rip from a um, background spot that was used from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories right here. And what happened is I just edited it out a little bit where I made like the ball black so that we can sort of look like a dark room and everything. But chances are that your, sprite, your picture that you're going to use is not the same thing. So I'm just going to click this right here. Now I can see the person's on the floor, which is fine. So that's it. Now to make it scroll, what we're going to do is we're going to select the... We're going to select this box right here that says horizontal scroll. And then right here, we got the speed options where we can have it. If we increase it to positive numbers, the picture will scroll to the right. And if we have negative numbers, it will scroll to the left. Now we have vertical scroll, but it's obviously not going to work with this because it's going to make the whole floor and everything move up. And that's not what we want. But if that's the background that you're going to mess with and you want your background to move up, then go ahead and mess with these options. Positive for up and negative for down. All right. So in my case, I wanted to just scroll to the right continuously. So I'm just going to have some numbers right there. And the next thing to do is that we're going to, oh, hit apply. The next thing to do is to go to the tile set. And the thing is that I'm going to teach you a little quick, quick thing about the tile set. Now the thing is, is that these numbers define what terrain that you will fight on on that tile set that you have selected. So like for example, number 9, this is programmed for the beach. Number 10, that's programmed for the ocean. And 1 is programmed for the plains right here. And then there's a few other number 1s. These are technically walls because you technically can't walk in them. So they're probably just the default. Now the thing is, I don't exactly like those. So I'm going to switch to another one. And I'm going to select the dungeon tile set. And I noticed one tile here that I liked, which is technically this mirror 4, which sort of sorts the moving forward background. So I'm going to select this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the dark room one, the dark room tile terrain that I just made. And then click this right here. So it changes to 11. So that means that when I walk on this floor and encounter an enemy, I will... We'll go into the um, 
dark one to rain that I just made. So I'm going to hit apply. And what we're going to do is test it out real quick. So close that. So next I got to edit this map real quick. So I'm going to go to the map properties. I'm going to first throw in a monster group so that way I can fight something here. And then I'm going to change this to the dungeon tile set. And say okay. And go to the lower floor. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quick make a quick island real quick. So I'm going to paste that here. And then starting party right here. So now we're going to test it out and see if it works. So I'm just going to start here real quick. Now note that this audio volume may get loud a bit. So you may have to turn your volume down if the music is a little too loud. I can't really control that right now. Okay, we're going to walk around a bit and see what happens. Okay, now you can see my character's all center a bit, but as you can see that the moving floor is technically moving right now. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Now, pretty much you saw that the moving floor right there was, uh, it was technically moving right there. And it might be a bit hard to see, but you might have to look in a little bit. But that's pretty much the ground basics on how to pretty much make a moving background for a battle in RPG Mix 2003. If you have any questions, just send me a, send a, make a comment, and then I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a good one, guys.